Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa Merrick, President and CEO of Prevent Child Abuse America. I'm also the lead author of a new study that examines a wide range of adult health and socioeconomic problems, at least partially attributable to adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, published by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. CDC defines ACEs as potentially traumatic events that happen during childhood. They include physical, sexual, and emotional abuse, and various forms of household challenges, such as witnessing intimate partner violence or growing up in a home with parental substance misuse or incarceration. For this report, data were collected between 2015 and 2017 through the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System for more than 144,000 adults in 25 states. This ACEs Vital Signs report represents a milestone in our collective understanding of the overall health and socioeconomic impacts of ACEs in this country and what we can do to prevent them. In the next few minutes, I'll share several key takeaways from the study, as well as some overarching strategies for tackling this widespread public health crisis, including actively engaging the business and public policy sectors. Takeaway one. ACEs are common, probably more common than you think. Nearly 61% of all respondents experience at least one type of ACE. Additionally, nearly one in six, or 16%, reported four or more types of ACEs. Takeaway two, the effects of ACEs add up over time and impact our health and life outcomes. The more types of adversities you experience, the higher your risk of experiencing poor health outcomes, like depression, overweight and obesity, and cardiovascular disease. The higher your risk of engaging in health behaviors, such as smoking and heavy drinking, and the higher your risk of experiencing poor socioeconomic outcomes, such as unemployment. For example, odds of depression were five times higher among adults with high levels of ACEs versus those reporting no ACE exposure. Takeaway three, preventing ACEs could help prevent leading causes of death and poor health and life outcomes. At least five of the top 10 leading causes of death are associated with early adversity. This study found that preventing ACEs could potentially result in a 44% reduction in depression, 26% reduction in COPD, 24% reduction in heavy drinking, and almost 13% reduction in coronary heart disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. Applied to national estimates in 2017, this translates to up to 1.9 million cases of coronary heart disease, 2.5 million cases of overweight or obesity, 1.5 million instances of high school non-completion, and 21 million cases of depression that could have potentially been avoided by preventing ACEs. Plus, reductions in socioeconomic challenges, including a nearly 15% reduction in unemployment. Takeaway four, ACEs are preventable. Creating the conditions for safe, stable, nurturing relationships and environments for children, families, and entire communities is fundamental to preventing ACEs. There are many ways to achieve this, like strengthening economic supports for families through earned income tax credit and family-friendly work policies. These strategies help to reduce parental stress, which we know is a leading risk factor for child abuse and neglect. Promoting social norms that protect against violence and adversity. Ensuring a strong start for children through high quality childcare and evidence-based home visiting programs, such as Healthy Families America. This brings me to a couple of tangible and actionable strategies for tackling ACEs. We must approach ACE prevention comprehensively and collaboratively because prevention happens in partnership. This means focusing on primary prevention and comprehensive approaches to prevention, working closely with our partners in the child abuse and neglect prevention field, but also engaging partners outside of our field, such as the business sector, media, and of course, national, state, and local legislators. Please join me in calling for a new narrative that we all have a role to play in preventing early adversity and ACEs. Together, we can prevent child abuse, America, because childhood lasts a lifetime.